So here we have our brand new iPad, fresh out of the box. Still has that new iPad smell. Here we go. We're going to touch the home button and swipe our thumb or finger across. It's going to ask you what language you prefer. Uh, English is already checked off in this case, so I'm going to click on the top right hand corner. And then we're going to choose our country or region. We scroll up to Canada. And next, location services. Uh, this is enabling the GPS of the device. I'm going to click on Enable Location Services, and Next. I'll ask you to choose a Wi-Fi network, so you choose the one that's most applicable to you, RDSPS typically, and it will give you the certificate, and you would click on Accept. Next button, set up the iPad. You have three options. Setup is new, and that's the one we're going with. You can also restore it either from an iCloud backup or an iTunes backup. Uh, if this is one that you've reset and want to recalibrate for whatever reason, you can do that. I'm going to set this one up as a new iPad. Go to Next. Sign in with an Apple ID, or if you don't have one already, you can create a free Apple ID. And when you do that, we, that will be separate steps, but I would recommend you use the school's uh, email address, uh, or if you're in a high school, they use the departmental uh, access. There we go, and then click Next to the top. You have some terms and conditions that you need to read, memorize, and there is a test at the end. Just click on Agree, and again, Agree. It says it will take a few minutes to set up the Apple ID, but it generally doesn't take that long. The next one is to set up iCloud. Uh, you can use iCloud for backing up or for syncing or whatnot. I'm going to suggest that if you have five or less, you can use iCloud. If you have more than five devices, you will need to not use iCloud uh, because it will not back up and sync properly for more than five. Okay, diagnostics, your choice, whether you want to automatically send or don't send uh, any diagnostic information to Apple. Let's go with don't send and then register the device with Apple. That's the last step. The next is to start using your iPad. Here it is. There's your home screen. You can adjust at will. Now that your iPad is set up, it's time to talk about restrictions. On the main screen, you're going to see the camera app. I would suggest clicking on that first because it wants to use your GPS. We'd recommend that you choose Don't Allow. Once that happens, you'll be prompted about the photo stream and you can do that later. In your uh, just settings, under general, there are a number of things to look at. Uh, first things first, let's look at the Bluetooth. Uh, you'll find that it's on automatically. We'd recommend turning that off just to save battery. Halfway down, you can look at using the slide switch on the side for different things. And then there's the reset options at the very, very bottom. Have a look at these. Erase all content and settings is the one you'll want if you want to actually erase everything from the device. Looking at restrictions, you'll have to click on the button up at the top that says Enable Restrictions in order to turn those on. Immediately you would be prompted for a passcode. It's a four-digit code. You'll have to enter it twice in order to enable those restrictions. Please don't forget it. You need that. Then you can turn on or off the different restrictions. You'll notice they're uh, available. We'd recommend turning off Ping and turning off Deleted Apps. Right underneath that is the location services. Uh, first things first, you'd want to turn on Find My iPad. It's off by default. You'd want to slide that switch over to make it find the iPad, which will then kick up this warning, and we'd recommend clicking on Allow. Uh, then click on Don't Allow Changes up at the top so students can't go in and make that change. Okay. Uh, and then in Accounts, right underneath that, also Don't Allow Changes. Otherwise, students can make changes to email, iCloud, and other things. Moving back uh, towards the bottom, recommend at the very, very bottom the Game Center, turning off multiplayer games and adding friends. And just above that, in-app purchases, recommend turning that off as well. The next steps are to connect your iPad to the uh, mothership, the Mac you'll be using with the iTunes account. And you'll have some questions you'll need to answer about the setup once that happens. And if you have further questions, please contact your friendly local CRT who will be able to help you with that. Good luck.